Good morning. Wow, my hair is crazy. <laughs> this is what you get. <laughs> okay. So, um, a couple of counts, friends, and I are sharing our curriculum picks for the new school year. So, we actually have already started our new school year because our baby's coming in August, and I plan on taking all of August off and then kind of doing a chill schedule for fall. So instead of doing a more chill schedule for summer, we're doing that for fall. So we're schooling through the summer. And um, I will include this list in the actual post, but this is, these are our curriculum picks. So for summer, where's that book? One of the biggest things we are doing is reading through the Narnia series with our curriculum um, it's called Into the Wardrobe, and it's going to be released in two weeks. But we have already made it through the first book, and so they've just got a little workbook. You know, we also have a guide for recipes and stuff like that. But we just started The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe last Thursday, and so we're just going to continue that this week. And I'll be providing some other up-close views into all the curriculum we're using if you would like that. So that's the first one. That's kind of the main curriculum we're using. It um, covers language arts and of course reading, which is super important. And then for other language arts things, we're using the um, the reading guide, the adventures were, I can't even say it to the written word. Uh, for William, he started on sight words. We're actually starting level two sight words today. He's really excited about that. So I've actually got to get those out because he's just in the shower and then we're going to start school. So I figured this was a good time to do that. For his writing, we're, this is um, the pre-K ABC curriculum, which is really not just for preschool. He's in kindergarten and we're just using it to review his letters and letter writing and letter sounds. So here's an, an example of some of the letter sounds. You know, this is for hot when we've got fence. Um, for F, of course. And then for Ellie, she's also working on her letter formation. So I just have this short little guide, which is included in the second grade language arts curriculum that we'll also be releasing in two weeks. There's a lot of different parts to this. And one of the things that you're going to get is um, a schedule. <laughs> Sorry, my brain isn't here. A schedule like this that goes between... A, B, a week and B week and it kind of just switches out and so some things that she's doing she's working on reading every day she's working on her letter formation she has um, some story corrections that where she corrects the um, missing punctuation and stuff in Aesop's fables that will also be in the second grade curriculum and then we also for grammar for both of the kids we do Mad Libs, and so we got Avengers for Will and Frozen for her, and when they finish these, then we'll move on to another one. But we also have a car one for road trips and a camping one for going camping. And I'll provide a, a better in-depth look to the kindergarten language arts and the second grade language arts. Those are going to be releasing first because those are the grades my kids are in. By fall or in fall, I hope to release the first and third grade ones. Um, and then, like I said, she's just practicing her reading and so we have some little book logs like this she's already filled one out with I think 20 possibly 15 books that she's read and then this one you know we've just started here she started to read some chapter books and I'm so proud it's, it's really awesome so then for math for the year we are doing our um our hands-on math curriculum which is for preschool to second grade we just finished the four operations unit which covers you know addition and subtraction but then also an introduction to division and multiplication and kind of there's such a bad glare there um how they work together and again it only goes up to second grade so the third to sixth grade curriculum will be releasing next year but this preschool to second will be releasing in two weeks along with all the other ones so we're doing numbers right now I just wanted to show you briefly, and I showed in my stories last week, I actually have a highlight about our math, but they, each of the kids has a checklist, and so we're just working through those right now. I haven't circled the ones we're going to start yet because we're actually starting this unit again today, but we plan on repeating all four units three times a year, and they're level-based, 
so when the child finishes one level, they can kind of just move up to the next level, which is really awesome. Um, they're very hands-on, so they there's a guide, and then there's a bunch of activities and stuff that go with them. So for example, for this week, like Will will have a lot of number cards that he's working on because that's we're trying to get him to remember nine and ten so that we can move on. And then um, Ellie's working on place value and stuff like that. So we've got a lot of place value cards. Hold on, babe. So then for science, science is really exciting. I'm very excited about science. We're about to release our full year pre-K to sixth grade earth science curriculum. Um, and so we're doing a little reformatting on some of our old units, like our natural disasters units here, and then land, land biomes. But then we're also going to be releasing ocean biomes, rocks and minerals, dinosaurs and archeology. span We also already have botany and garden schooling, which they have finished for the year already. And um, I just wanted to show you, we're making a rocks and minerals flip book right now. And so I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen Steven Universe, but these are the crystal gems. So Ellie drew garnet, amethyst, pearl, and uh, rose quartz, or Steven, instead of drawing the actual gems, because she's funny. <laughs> and then we worked on the rock cycle. And so this week we're going to be doing some other things on that. And then we're going to be doing um, natural disasters next week, land biomes next week. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing. We're doing a condensed version because we've done all of these before, last year and the year before. And we're gonna kind of do them all this year in a more condensed fashion, which you can do. And again, that's another one that's releasing in two weeks. <laughs> then for reading, for read alouds, um, they're finishing up the Boxcar Children audiobooks, which I've talked about briefly in another post. I think there's there's over a hundred of them and they started them two years ago, but really since I think last October, they've been really, really into them. And each Boxcar Children book is about two hours long. So they'll separate them into two days, do half one day and half the other day during quiet time. We're also gonna do The Princess Who Flew With Dragons and we just found a new podcast series that does books. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put it in the description too with all free books. There's actually one about a homeschooler who gets to raise a dinosaur. So we're really excited about that. And then we're also looking into Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys as, as other read alouds um, or as just audiobooks. And then like I'll, I'll include all this in the description, like I said, but essentially for summer, it's reading, math, science, um, language arts, and then for fall, it's going to be history instead of science. For winter, it's going to be geography instead of history and science. And then spring, kind of summer, is always when we do our science. We do our science in the warm months. We do our history and geography in the cold months. And the reason we do this is because science is generally more hands-on, more outside. And history, we have um, a kindergarten through fourth grade American history curriculum that is already released. It'll be in our June sale too but it's all reading based. So for each unit, there's a book and um, we like to do that, you know, snuggle up on the couch, get candles out, you know, be in blankets, have tea, that kind of stuff. So we do that in the fall. <laughs> and then in the winter, when we do geography is gonna be our 50 states curriculum that we already have a version of it out, but there'll be another version of it out by then. Um, we're also doing tea time. So right now to go with Narnia is myths and magic tea time and the summer for our annual poetry guide and fall will be autumn based or autumn themed and winter will be winter and possibly dragon tea time. Let me know how you feel about that idea because we're going to be doing Dragon Masters as our read aloud. So we'll have a literature guide out for that by then. And then in spring, we always read The Secret Garden. Every April, we read The Secret Garden. And so it's been one, two, this is the third year that we've done that. And it's been the Great Illustrated Classics version. But next year, we're going to actually do the full version. It's my favorite. Love all the details. And with reading Narnia and reading all these other things, I really think my kids will be ready for that. Um... And then we're not sure what other read aloud is gonna be in spring yet, but that is the list. That'll be in the description. I'm also gonna be writing a blog post about it today. There'll be a few other videos that I share this week. And then I also have 
a reel, kind of like a day in the life or like a, a day in the school <laughs> reel that I'm going to share tomorrow, kind of about just what our school days look like. Um, and I might share our, like our actual rhythm too. And I can talk about it briefly just before because it does really go with our curriculum picks. But in the morning, the kids wake up usually around 7. We'll slept until 8 this morning, so we're getting a late start. Um, and we'll do chores. We'll have breakfast. And during breakfast is when we start school and when I start reading. So I try to eat before they eat or at least try and finish before they finish. So we do our devotional and prayer or read aloud. Um, the copy work that goes with the read aloud. Then we'll do our language arts. So Will's sight words, Ellie's reading, and then both of their writing. And then depending on the day. So Mondays is when, let's see. Mondays is when Ellie does her story correction. Tuesdays is when she does Mad Libs. And Will will do Mad Libs too. Um, and then... Every other Thursday, we switch off between either a shared research project or some dictation. Every Monday, Ellie narrates the story that she reads, and I just write that down and keep it in Trello. And then after school, so Monday and Wednesday, sorry, is math, and Tuesday and Thursday is science right now. After school, we have some outside time. On Tuesdays, we go to the library because the library is open. And um, then we have quiet time, which is when I work, when they listen to their audiobook and they get to watch a little bit of TV. And then the rest of the day is kind of just free, free play outside. So usually by 1.30, we're done with any scheduled activities and we just go play and have fun outside. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll make sure I try to include as much information in the description as I can, but I might run out of room. So you might want to check out the blog post. Hopefully this wasn't as scattered as I think it was. <laughs> And if you want to see anything up close, please let me know. I hope you have a good week.